Hello, my friends. It's your friend Kevin with another message for the day, or at least a strength for the day, something for you to anchor into and get stuck with or get stuck into. Um, so let's get right to the card and the message. Here we go. So on Monday, we had the sacred plan. Don't rush. Don't just let things happen. On Tuesday, we had raise your vibration. So today we've got the card of trust the universe. And this is from Kyle Gray's Angel Guide Oracle deck with images by uh, Jennifer Hawkyard. All right. So trust the universe. Well, I for one would probably tell you this is easier said than done, right? Um, you know, we can turn a corner on Monday and something happens this way. We can open our mind and possibility on Tuesday, as we're being told, but then this happens. Then here, you, Wednesday comes along, which is where we are, midweek, hump day, and we've got this card that says, trust the universe. The easier said than done bit. Here's what I've unpacked with that. We are so used to the world of digital transfer, uh, di di digital transmission, instant gratification, everything that we want, we can possibly have by two o'clock this afternoon if we log into Amazon's website. <laughs> so when things don't quite work out how we thought or the timing is off or we can't get from here to there because we're worried about how that's happening, this is where we have to put in that piece about trusting the universe. There is a cliche that says everything happens for a reason and it's all in divine timing. Mm, yes, we all usually typically say it when things are going right, when things are moving along the way they're supposed to. But when there's a curveball, or when everything seems to be up in the air, what is it and how do we go about trusting the universe? For me, it is a question of turning off all the distractions. We've got two ways of really moving forward. Trusting the universe is, is, is a leap of huge amount of faith. When we plan something big, opening a business, get married, making a big purchase, having to find funds unexpectedly, there is this level of trust or doubt. And those two things is linked to the glass half full and the glass half empty, reaction and response. It takes somebody pretty stable and secure to trust that what's happening is happening for a reason, that there is always something at play for our highest good, particularly in events of that are dramatic or drastic, the loss of a loved one, that grief. I don't know how anyone can say trust the universe when the universe just ascended someone we love and care about. That's a tough one. It's hard for anyone to say to another person, well, you know, these things happen for a reason. <laughs> I would be one that would almost want to push that person into next week if something devastating had happened. The way that works is another person's decision affects someone else, affects someone else, affects someone else. And temporarily, we're thrown off course. My suggestion to stay buoyant and to stay floating is to lean in and pull on what is actually um, tangible. What is What can I actually count on? What is actually true? Because the ego will also play 
about with that trust the universe when things are going all over the place oh that's when the ego wants to drive the bus it wants to keep you in fear wants to keep you back wants to tell you yep look what you did this is what happened this is what you get when this happens when that happens i say this card today this message today about trusting the universe applies to any part of your life that is uncertain maybe on shaky ground or like myself you get some news you weren't expecting and you you there's that underlying feeling that oh my goodness i don't know what i'm going to do i don't know how do nothing stay still keep your faith concentrate on what you want to have happen what is the most ideal outcome for you and everybody concerned because this is also keeping the vibration up looking at it in a way that says huh i wasn't anticipating this this is wasn't part of the plan so universal energy you're giving me a detour you're giving me another way around this you're giving me a bit of a curveball that might mean you're going to have to alter the plans that you put in place that might mean you got to go ask for help that you're not comfortable doing that might mean somebody says to you i'm so glad you asked me i've been trying to find a way to help you and i really wasn't sure how and i didn't want to encroach or i didn't want to you know because that's happened to me before i've had people tell me i'm unapproachable so offering me help is is hard for me to take it because i like giving but taking help receiving help is a little tough um so that might be what this trust in the universe is about there are lessons everywhere anyway that's your message your strength for today maybe you get your journal out maybe you look at you know listen if this was the plan it's not quite working out does it need more time or do you just need to retweak the plan or do you just need to sit back and say all right show me a sign that we're on the right path right my friends until next time lots of love keep it going bye